Can I really reason with you, Cien Joe people? <sighs> I think I get it now. In your words, this is called looting a burning house, right? But I am trying to reason with you here. That toxic voice sounds familiar. Haven't I heard it before in Arum Alley? You know what? This isn't my first time dealing with the Skyfaring Commission. I can handle your unreasonable ways. But straight up snatching IPC cargo? Isn't that going a bit too far? <sighs> Just as I've said it many times already, once we've inspected the cargo and completed the security check, you can be on your way. Is there something wrong with your ears, or is it just your brain? I'm hearing you loud and clear. I'm thinking clear. And my answer is crystal clear. Not a chance. Keep detaining my cargo, and I'll file a complaint directly with your general. You jerk! Who are you calling a dog? Wait! Why are you here? You're staying on the Sienjo, are you? What terrible luck! Wherever you go, disasters aren't far behind! Aren't you the guest from the Astral Express? What brings you and Yanqing to the Artisanship Commission? Trouble caused by the IPC? I'd say it's caused by the Skyfaring Commission! Looks like you've met this IPC worker before. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. I was sent here to deal with the IPC protest, Mishikwe. What's going on here? <sighs> As you know, this IPC transport ship was attacked by the Borison and rescued by the Juming's diplomatic ship. Then the Cloud Knights were instructed to bring it back to the dock for repairs and inspections. And this is Mr. Scott, the person in charge of this transport ship. So, you're Scott. I've heard her mention you. Weren't you kicked off the Lafu before? Why did you come back? Like I wanted to come back. I thought I'd just dock at the harbor for repairs and leave this forsaken place for good. Little did I know, as soon as the ship entered the harbor, a bunch of Cloud Knights showed up and snatched all our cargo from the hold. What do you mean by snatched? I've told you a million times, it's a security check. Then why did you bring the cargo to the Artisanship Commission? You even brought in some shady craftsmen. It's obvious you're trying to steal the IPC's patented technology! Listen here. Firstly, the Skyfaring Commission detected dangerous items that could possibly be weapons in your cargo hold. That's why they called me here, to double check. Secondly, where the heck did you get the idea that I'm a shady craftsman? Even if there are dangerous items, what do they have to do with you? It's not even being shipped to the law, fool. We'll just fix the ship and be on our way. We won't unload our cargo here. But you'll have to stay in the port for several days before your ship is repaired and you can take off again. How can we just leave unchecked items sitting here? I understand, but we don't need to disassemble the cargo if it's just a security check, right? In most cases, we don't. However, our scans discovered that the cargo doesn't only contain machinery, but also some substance that resembles biological tissue. Biological tissue? Does this crate contain living things? I'm afraid we'll need to wait for the Alchemy Commission for further confirmation. In any case, According to our regulations, we need to unseal one of the crates for further examination. But this IPC specialist has been hindering us on the grounds of patent secrecy. The Alliance's regulations on biological products are very strict. Without further inspection, there is no way for the Skyfaring Commission to release the cargo. Oh, really? Fine! If anyone lays a finger on that shipment, they'll have me to deal with! It doesn't matter if it's mechanical or biological. It's none of your business. I'm filing a complaint against the Skyfaring Commission's ridiculous regulations. <sighs> this Mr. Scott seems stubborn and difficult to persuade. Honestly, I really don't want to have a vicious confrontation with the IPC. I heard how you helped Aram Ali. The IPC representative back then was Mr. Scott, right? Since you've dealt with them before, 
It looks like I'll have to rely on you again. What are you guys whispering about over there? Just hurry up and give us back our cargo. As I recall, this guy won't listen to reason and can only be persuaded with intimidation. But he does seem to follow rules to some extent. Let's use that against him. Speaking of regulations, we have our own laws and regulations too. According to Article 4 of the Sienjo Alliance IPC Trade Consensus, the Alliance and IPC shall never infringe on each other's intellectual property rights. can sign a non-disclosure agreement with you. That way, you won't have to worry about any infringements, right? We can sign a mutually acceptable non-disclosure agreement in accordance with the IPC's rules. Well, uh, that makes sense, but how can we trust you to honor the terms? <clears throat> Even if we set aside the secrecy of intellectual property, these prototypes built by the Intelligentsia Guild are incredibly valuable, beyond your wildest imagination. If anything goes wrong, you won't be able to pay for it even with your lives! Can you give us an exact amount, Mr. Scott? If there's any damage after the inspection, the Express, uh, um, I mean, the Skyfaring Commission will compensate you. The Skyfaring Commission? Yeah, they will compensate you, provided a detailed report of the damage is submitted. I don't doubt the financial strength of the Skyfaring Commission. However, this is not just about money. Besides, the cargo on this transport vessel belongs to the Intelligentsia Guild. If you want to inspect the cargo, shouldn't you at least call in a member of the Intelligentsia Guild to be present? I'm pretty tight with Dr. Ratio from the Intelligentsia Guild. Almost like family. Doesn't that make me practically a member of the Intelligentsia Guild, too? What's all this nonsense? Even if you were married to him, you still couldn't represent the Intelligentsia Guild. We both need to follow the regulations, because that's how the IPC and the Sienjo operate, right? As an IPC worker, I have to abide by its regulations. If I make an exception and allow you to inspect the cargo, it'll spell disaster for me. Everyone has their own set of rules. Now that you're on their turf, shouldn't you follow their rules too? Yeah, I get it. I know I'm on the Sienjo, but if I violate the IPC regulations, I'll be in deep trouble when I get back. Well, you guys sure know how to argue your case. Fine, I'll allow you to do the security inspection. It's just that, uh, I need some time to sort things out. This is a big deal. Let me talk to headquarters first. So, Mr. Scott, are you just stalling for time and planning to leave the CN Joe as soon as your ship is repaired to avoid the Skyfaring Commission's inspection? Well, IPC staff are free to come and go, as long as they don't break any laws. Yeah, you've got some insight there. Who are you again? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lingsha, 
Cauldron Master and head of the Alchemy Commission on the Law Foo. Could she be? Yeah, she's the new Cauldron Master assigned here from the Sienjo Juming. I received a report from the Artisanship Commission about cargo containing samples of unknown organisms. It said they needed help from the Alchemy Commission. I had nothing better to do, so I came myself. It's fine, Mr. Scott. If you really don't want your cargo to be inspected, it doesn't matter. Uh, it, it doesn't matter? How can you say that? Why are you being so nice all of a sudden? Hmm? Well, since you're not going to check it, I'll take this crate and be on my way. Is that okay with everyone? Yeah, sure. Why should I object? Not only this sample, but all the goods on the transport ship are yours to keep. Like I said, we won't inspect them. Wait a minute! Well, that's more like it. If only the young displayed a more reasonable attitude, we could have sidestepped that altercation just now. Our ship will leave in a few days once the engines are repaired. Your ship can leave whenever you want. But I'm afraid I can't say the same for your cargo. According to the import and export regulation signed between the Sienjo and IPC, all biological shipments can only leave the port when they have confirmed to be of no threat. Or when all biological activity expires. Since we can't determine if your shipment is safe for the environment, I guess we'll have to wait for its biological activity to expire. Let me check the previous cases. Normally, it'll only take around 47 star calendar years. <laughs> only 47 years? Why so surprised? You're still young and full of energy. I'm pretty sure you'll live a few more decades. Have some confidence in yourself. Ha! Typical of a long life species. Your words are dripping with sarcasm. While you may not care about time, I do. I'll be demanding double compensation from the Skyfaring Commission for every minute wasted. Sure thing, Mr. Scott. You seem pretty confident that your career and life will last long enough to witness this victory unfold. Step aside, guys. Let them do the inspection. Uh, but, Mr. Scott... Come on, we're already in enough trouble. Just let them do the security inspection. And if needed, I can always grovel before the Intelligentsia Guild later. I'm just using my head for what it's apparently good for, right? Well, honestly, at least you're not as annoying as that woman. Just get on with the inspection. Don't act all chummy with me now that you've got your way. This lady... is really something else. Is this the IPC product? Uh, listen up! Any damages caused by inspections will be filed with the IPC! <laughs> Turn it off! That was a surprise. What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Such an elusive foretelling. <laughs> Stand still. 
That breathing sensation. <laughs> Try this on for size. Why, of course! Demon! Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. Here, all yours. All Relax. May as well kill them all. all We're just having fun. <laughs> Damage sustained. Somebody help me! Stand still. Shutting down. triggered the cargo's defense program. I don't think trying to shift the blame is a wise choice. But seriously, I don't know why that thing suddenly started moving. I swear on the Amber Lord. Enough. Miss Shikwe, please escort our IPC guest to the Skyfaring Commission. I'm on it. Please follow me, Mr. Scott. Gentlemen, our preliminary inspection shows that there is indeed hidden biological tissues inside. Just like the craftsmen feared. I can't even tell if it's ingenium or biological in nature. The core of this device is what they call wetware in industry slang. To put it simply, this machine operates with a kind of biological nerve as its control center. I'll take some samples for the alchemist to analyze and figure out where the biological tissue comes from. Why would the Intelligentsia Guild use such unethical technology? Perhaps they're trying to create a new weapon? Whatever the reason is, it's probably why the Borison attacked the ship. No wonder the IPC were trying to obstruct our inspection. I'll contact the Ten Lords Commission and ask the judges to come and give their final verdict on this. According to our rules, all prisoners and weapons involving dangerous creatures must be taken to the Shackling Prison for further sentencing. After all, it's the safest place on the Lafu. As for you, Mr. Craftsman, please go with the Cloud Knights and explain the situation to the judge. I had a feeling that the IPC members would cause trouble, but I didn't think they'd be this tricky. Thanks for your help, Miss Lingsha. I should thank you for saving my life. Your sword skills were impressive. Taking down that big guy. I thought the General's retainers were all burly martial masters. I didn't expect Yenching to be so... you with that. As for you, you must be the guests from the Astral Express, right? Saving the Lafu from that crisis. It's so impressive. <laughs> it wasn't a big deal. Really. It's still early. So why don't we get some tea at the Alchemy Commission? We can discuss your suggestions for revitalizing the commission. Uh, I'd be happy to accept your invitation. And you three are coming too, right? Hey! Oh, you're 
Why didn't you say anything in the group chat? I'm on duty. Let's catch up later. here and find something better to do. And once I'm done in a few days, call up little Gwei and Wawa and let's grab a meal at Aram Alley. It's been ages since we hung out. Goodbye. And the view of the Alchemy Commission hasn't changed a bit. The tides come and go, but the ancient sea remains the same. For us, Vidyadara, there's nothing more nostalgic than our homeland. You're a Lofu native, Miss Lingsha? Yes. I grew up here, listening to the sound of waves while researching prescriptions with my mentors and peers at the Alchemy Commission. It's kind of sad, isn't it? Everything changes, but somehow remains familiar. Just like you, Don Hung, I traveled far from home, and now I've returned. Seeing the familiar scenery brings back a hint of nostalgia. Uh, the view here would be even better without the Ambrosial Arbor. Oh, really? I think that towering tree looks pretty impressive. Even if it's impressive, it's a plague mark. The Sienjo have been fighting abominations for thousands of years. And now that the Ambrosial Arbor has been reborn, it's only natural for everyone to feel uneasy. Well, once a seed is planted, no matter how long it takes, it'll eventually sprout and bear fruit, in my humble opinion. The rebirth of the Ambrosial Arbor and the resurgence of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus were inevitable. The seed was already planted when the ancestors of the Sienjo sought immortality. <laughs> My bad. Well, since you went through the entire Ambrosial Arbor Crisis firsthand, Dan Hung and Lieutenant Yan Ching, I'd like to discuss something with you. What would you like to discuss, Miss Lingxia? I was lucky enough to be chosen by the Alliance to come in and clean up all the old grime in the Alchemy Commission. Honestly, the Alchemy Commission is riddled with problems and has reached a point where fixing it seems impossible. I'm looking to remedy this problem, but was wondering if you could provide any insights. Well, even though I'm a Vidyadarin like you, I'm an outsider, just like my companions here. I can't really say much about a remedy, but I do have a piece of advice, Miss Lingxia. The Vidyadara and the Alchemy Commission on the Lo Fu have always been intricately connected. If you cannot distance yourself from these ties, Miss Lingxia, changing the situation within the Alchemy Commission may be quite challenging. I may not know about politics, but I do know that the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been operating within the Alchemy Commission for years. If you're determined to root them out, maybe you should discuss it with the General. I see. Thank you for your valuable insights. <sighs> While the Lux Arrow from the Rainbow possesses unparalleled power to sever the Ambrosial Arbor, it can't sever mortals' desire to prolong their existence. Just like how the Cloud Knights can eliminate the remnants of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, but are unable to calm the hearts and minds of the people within the Alchemy Commission. 
Our Sienjo forebears knew this well, and that's why they entrusted the duty of guarding the roots of the arbor to the Vidyadara. However, the Vidyadara are still only mortal beings. Thirty years ago, my mentor served as Alchemy Commission's Cauldron Master. She recognized the emerging undercurrents and sought to cleanse the source of the disturbance. Unfortunately, even though she was skilled in the art of healing, she didn't understand the human heart or how to eliminate the sickness lurking within the depths of the Alchemy Commission. In the end, she was framed and exiled to the Juming. I was also implicated and had to leave the Lafu. And guess who arbitrated the case and handed down the sentence? None other than General Jing Yuan himself. Wh what? You heard it right. The ones responsible for the corruption in the Alchemy Commission are not just the remnants of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus, but even the Divine Foresight himself. Alas, why is your face turning pale, Yen Qing? <sighs> Don't worry about it. I understand that when someone holds a position of power, they may sometimes have to make tough decisions. I won't hold any personal grudges against him. Besides, at our age, holding personal grudges is a luxury we can't afford. <gasps> Lingxia, you're back! Oh, I've been waiting ages for you! Yun Li! Why aren't you with your grandpa? What brings you to the Alchemy Commission? Uh, well, let me take this opportunity to introduce you to Yan Qing. <sighs> what a small world. You! You stole my sword! Give it back! <laughs> I see. Let's skip the introduction part then. <sighs> Why do I keep bumping into you? Are you stalking me or something? Of course not. Unlike you, Miss Yun Li, I have important things to take care of. You, on the other hand, seem to have all the time in the world to wander around without returning my sword. <laughs> Grandpa used to say that a sword reflects its master. I talked to your sword, and it told me that you've been distracted. You hesitate when you should strike, and you struggle to stay calm when your sword is unsheathed. <laughs> now that I see you again, I realize your sword was right. It wasn't me who took your sword. It was you who lost focus. Do you really expect me to believe that nonsense? I've been taking it easy on you because you're a guest from the Juming, but you're not taking the hint. Don't people from the Juming know you're supposed to return what you've borrowed? Just look at this flying sword. Even if I gave it back to you now, it'd just be taken away again in a few hours. You know the Cloud Knight saying, a Cloud Knight must never let slip their weapon. Yes? Well, sure, I can give it back to you now, but on the battlefield, that's a whole different story. <laughs> Poor flying sword. Fine, you don't have to give it back because I'll take it back myself. Between these two, who do you think is tougher, Don Hung? Don't get me wrong. I'm just curious. You... <sighs> get ready to separate them. It is my first day at the Alchemy Commission. A brawl is definitely not how I imagine celebrating it. <laughs> well, since you don't approve, I won't draw my sword here. I didn't mean it in that way. Since you've already drawn your swords, you'd be disappointed if you didn't get to test one another, right? I've received reports that the Delves near the Alchemy Commission are still infested with abominations. Seems like my predecessors left quite a mess. So, if you two want to determine who's better, why not focus on them instead of each other? Hmm. Clearing out some abominations? Eh. Sounds boring. It's the Cloud Knight's duty to eliminate those abominations. You don't have to ask me twice, Miss Lingxia. I'll help you get rid of them. Oh, you think you're the only one who knows how to behave? If Lingxia needs anything, I'll gladly draw my sword and help her out. 
It's so heartwarming to see both of you being so sweet and caring. So then, shall we get going?